how people can possibly switch from the Western diet to a living food diet without having it be quite difficult. Number one, it's about commitment. A person has to make a decision based upon their own desire to want the best for themselves. If you come about this change through fear, it will never seed itself well within your heart and soul. So come about this because of complete Interest, complete commitment. If a person is facing an eminent problem, a disease of magnitude, they must rapidly and readily embrace the living food program. By doing so, as we've seen, it will boost the immune system and give them back the army that has been weakened so that they can fight that disorder and disease. For those people listening that want to do this to improve their health, to prevent disease, and to prolong their life, but are not facing an eminent concern, you may want to take a simple approach over a one-year period, just as an example. If you were on the most horrific diet in the world, the type I used to be on, where I ate nothing that had any health value or nutritional value. All you would actually have to do is reduce 8% of that dangerous diet each month and add 8% of the Hippocrates Living Food Program. I don't think anyone listening would have a difficult time doing that. At the end of the year, you will now be at 100% living food. Remember, what we've learned from all the work we did many years ago in research is that when a person is in the conquest of disease, she or he must be on 100% living food, excluding fruits, including large amounts of high-density foods. Again, belief one, sprouts, sea vegetables, freshwater algae. Once they have conquered that disease and placed it in remission, or those who have come to this without being sick, you could literally eat up to 15, 20, even 25% organic, cooked, vegan food. This makes it far more realistic for most people listening, folks around the world. Remember, this is not a religion. We did work and looked at the immune system and discovered that a healthy individual with all the functional differentials of the immunity can literally eat up to that much cooked food, organic and vegan, not polluting foods, but such things as steamed vegetables, alkaline grains, squash, etc and not have any impact on the immune system. Once you go beyond that, interesting enough, from 20, 25%, from 25% to 30%, we now lose 17% of our immune system function. If we go up another 5% to 35%, we literally lose 48.6% or approximately one half of our immune system function. That goes back to the term we used earlier called what? Leukocytosis, the disease they discovered 80 years ago. Immune system now attacking the cooked food.